animation and the actual film footage shown at the end? Uh, the film footage was always meant to be there. Uh, I just, I just uh, wanted to prevent a situation where someone, somewhere, anywhere, would walk out of a theater and think that this is just a very cool animal movie with great drawings and cool music, and this is it. I mean, it was important for me to show that this week, this, I mean, on that weekend, thousands of people were killed. Most of them were children and unprotected women and old people. And for me, it gives the whole, the whole film proportion and perspective. And uh, it was essential for me to put the video. But did the animation, how I shot as a documentary? It was not. It, it couldn't have been shot as a documentary. Just no way. It's, this is the film. I can say in one aspect that war is a lot of things. Clearly it's a, I mean, it's really clear it's an anti-war movie in all aspects. And uh, one of the things that I think war is, after participating in one, is it's like a very bad acid trip that you go through. And uh, for example, the, the, the opening scene of the dogs, it was one of my, I mean, one of my goals was to put you, the audience, into this very bad trip from the very beginning. And then you go through a new language of film, at least I tried. And um, if you look at it from one storyline, opening with those dogs, ending with the real footage in the end, Hopefully, I, I succeeded in bringing on the screen something of the adventure that war could be. And this could have only been done in animation, for me. 